What's up guys, J.A. Monster Energy here, bringing you a video on how to change your boot logo on your MacBook, um, on any MacBook. Now this application, I I kind of forgot its name, I think it's Boot X Changer or something like that. Um, but I'll show you guys in a bit. Now you guys remember it has a gray background with a little apple like about right there. And then it starts spinning. Uh, well I changed that up to a Monster logo of course, so I'm going to show it to you guys and so you guys can see what it looks like. Alright, so it turns on. We have the old uh, background, and now here we go, we have our monster logo. You guys can check it out there. It changed um, the apple, which is actually pretty neat. I like the logo. Um, it comes with a, like six or eight uh, custom logos, which is uh, like the finder icon, a computer, and some other cool ones. Now we can see here it has the monster and it's loading. So it's actually really, really cool. Um, I didn't like that much the Apple logo that it came with. So it's actually really nice. Let's just wait for it to completely load. And there we go, we have our wallpaper. Now the application is called, yeah, Boot X Changer. So let me close FaceTime right here. So I have a link below in the description so you guys go check it out. And now we're gonna, when you launch it, you're just gonna get a simple little box. And it's gonna say, um, it's gonna say boot exchanger and it says default image, current image, and also background color. You could choose any color, but I just prefer to leave it default. So here we go, we have our, let's just click default. And that's the original one. And now you could either um, make your own Photoshop, GIMP, or whatever. Alright, so it comes with a couple of sample boot images. That's what the folder is called. And we have um, a Chrome Apple, which is that. We have a Claris, which is like a dog. Uh, Rainbow Apple. Happy Mac. Um, it's a Picasso Mac. Looks pretty cool. Uh, a Next, just like a cube with Next. We have a finder icon, Happy Mac New World. Um, it's like a very old computer, whoops, sorry. And then we have another uh, Mac, well, it's uh, bigger than the other one, I believe. Yeah, whatever. And then we have my custom one, the Monster Energy logo. And now, um, you could create one like I said in Photoshop or you could just download one from the internet. Now, if you wanna create one with Photoshop, you just like, I recommend selecting the Mac OS so you have a big one, like a big logo that will be like, so you can pretty much see what it is on the computer so it's not like super, super tiny. Alright, so let me just open up Photoshop really fast for you guys. And now, here we go, it opened up, now we're going to get our finder icon. And now here we could pretty much import any image and just create your own like let's say let's say I want the the red snow Mac icon alright so here we go we have our icon it's a um, like pineapple pony shoe um, icon or red snow here we go you can paste it and it's gonna be small but you guys can pretty much like enlarge sorry enlarge it and like it's gonna look pixelated but you know you're gonna have a better icon than the Apple so there you could set that one as your desktop and I mean as your boot up logo and it's going to pretty much look pretty tight. Now the link is going to be in the description below. Um, there's like, this only works for Intel Max. I'm not sure um, if it'll work for like the power books and all that stuff. But like I am on 10.6.4. So if you're uh, 10.4 and all above, it's going to work for you guys. And I would appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button up here, somewhere above here, and the like, dislike below, because that would help me out a lot on my, um, I'm trying to get the partnership for YouTube. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.